I'm Cheryl Chris for Movie Guide, and we're on the red carpet in Hollywood for the Movie Guide's 31st Annual Movie Guide Awards, and we're honoring all the best television shows and movies for inspiring content. What does it mean to be able to share your faith with the world? Oh, that is that is where my heart is is at. It's the most precious thing to me in the world is to share my faith. And whether I'm doing that in conversation or through my films, it's my mission in life. So your son just got married. What does it mean to you to leave a legacy of faith for your family? Well, I've come from an incredible line and generations of faith-filled parents and grandparents and great-grandparents. So I'm so happy for my son and his beautiful wife. And, you know, they, they love the Lord. And so I just can't wait to see what they're going to do and grow into in their lives and how they lead in ministry. What, what project are you most excited about right now? Well, I have lots that are in development, in the works, and coming out. Um, Unsung Heroes, a movie that will be in theaters April 26th that we're very excited about, that I co-produced and am in as well. And then all the movies on Great American Family Channel. There's a great new Easter movie coming out this year that I produced. And, uh, and obviously there will be lots of Christmas movies. Tell to me about being a Christian in the world and being a calm in the storm and a light in the darkness. I mean, we're all living life, you know, and my faith and hope and trust is in God. And so no matter, no matter what storms are around and no matter what chaos is going on in the world and cultural wars and social injustices, I look to God and his word to navigate it. So you are hosting tonight. Did you ever think that you would be hosting a Hollywood award show? You know, it never even entered my mind. Um, I've hosted other events, the National Adventures Hall of Fame Awards, things like that. Um, but this is my first award ceremony for this entertainment. How important is it for you to be able to share your faith in the projects that you choose? It's been a beautiful journey for me in my career. Always family friendly, mostly all family friendly movies and TV shows from the Wonder Years all the way through Great American Family today. And as a new believer, you know, helping people to get in touch with God's love if they're not already is really meaningful to me because I know the difference it's made in my life. I feel like a different person and, um, and I want to share that with other people. So having an award ceremony dedicated to positive, family-friendly, uplifting movies that often bring people closer to God is just perfect and I'm so honored to be here. So I heard you just read a Bible in a year. I did. How has the Bible changed your life? It, so I'm on my second round now. I'm doing it again. I, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to do this, I guess. I mean, it's been amazing. It, for me, it's been fascinating to see the patterns that emerge, like ego versus humility and the importance of forgiveness and seeing those stories again and again. You're like, okay, I know, I know the things I'm supposed to be paying attention to. I know the things I'm supposed to be listening to and keeping. <laughs> you know, I mean, Joseph's forgiveness of his brothers. And I mean, and you see the, you see the themes all throughout. You're like, okay, I get it. Thank you. You know, I used to think, oh, I'm not going to like the Old Testament. There's a lot of great stuff in the Old Testament. Matthew, how fun was your Paris Christmas movie? Oh, it was it was a it was a, a delight, um, a joy to be out there doing what I love to do, which is act, sing, and dance. I got to do it all, and it was um, yeah. I had a great partner in Jen Lee and being here at the Movie Guide Awards and that celebrating, you know, these type of movies that uh, really highlight and uplift positive feeling movies. How important do you think it is in today's world to have content like this? I think it's incredibly important because, you know, as a parent myself, seeing the stuff that is out there and just so easily accessible to people, to have a place where you can go and just know that you're going to be taken care of and safe and especially for your children, it's, um, it's very vital in the world we live in today. Why is it important for you to be here at the Movie Guide Awards tonight? Well, I think there's a lot of really um, fun things to celebrate. I think that um, like in a, like in these awards get to emphasize really family-friendly, positive, inspiring, upbeat uh, content, and I'm all about that. That's how I live my life, and that's, uh, that's, that's who I want to be surrounded by. The movies I do at Great American are very in line um, with how I like to live. I love to spread positivity and kindness and um, love and compassion and um, 
you know, it makes my life meaningful. And, and when we get to weave that into our, our films, that's what it's all about. Jack, why is it important for you to be here tonight? Well, you know, this event just celebrates family-friendly television. You know, it's been a big part of my life for years, so I'm giving a, uh, a Lifetime Achievement Award tonight, so I couldn't be happier. What does it mean to be able to share your faith and in inspiring uh, values to the world? Well, I think the world's in great need of support and, and faith, you know, in some place that's a safe place really to watch television and also be comfortable in your own home. And, you know, I've been uh, on the series When Calls the Heart and doing a lot of family-friendly movies now for 12 years or so. So, you know, this is sort of my, my, ho my home and my, uh, you know, where I feel really great about what I'm doing. Why is it important for you to be here tonight and support the Movie Guide Awards? Well, I mean, first of all, I got invited, so that's a good way to attend these events. Uh, I've snuck into a couple, and it's not the way to go. I'm kidding. I've never done that. Uh, this is my first time being invited out, so um, t to be honest, I'm feeling very blessed and honored to be nominated. Uh, the film that I was in, called The Christmas Blessing, has been nominated twice, and then uh, I've been nominated as an actor, so I know, that's pretty cool. You know, my, my mom's stoked. She's at home. She's like, how do I watch this? Where do I see it? Oh, that's very exciting. So how fun is it to be in a Christmas movie? Oh, it's the funnest. I mean, Christmas. Just name anything cool about Christmas, and then you just go do Christmas stuff. So, uh, you know, you got to eat a lot of cookies. So uh, get ready for that, right? You want to find out what your favorite cookies are real quick, because uh, sometimes you got to eat a lot of them. Uh, no, I, I think, honestly, to be in something that my kids can watch, that, that my family can watch, my, my grandmother can watch, I mean, that's fantastic. And I love moving around as a performer. So I really love the idea that you can come out, if you can do a Christmas movie every year, I mean, it's just gonna keep coming back. And that's pretty cool. It's like a fashion trend, except it comes around a lot more. It's like every month now. So what does it mean to you to be able to share your faith in different projects and put that out in the world? I've always found that the more honest you are with who you are and what you believe, it's just better for everybody. Uh, there's no space and no place for being fake and if there is uh, it's usually from an insecurity to be honest and I've had those and so a lot of what I've had to do is just lean further into my faith and as I do that I always find more love for my marriage more love for my children you know not that you don't have love already but I mean if you want to be pushed like love others and step out of your you know pull over help the person on the side of the road who's got a flat tire hold the door open for somebody donate to something Give your time, okay? So sometimes it's easy to just give something that you can give away, uh, but show up and be there. I, I mean, there's so many lessons. I could go on and on. Uh, I'm doing a Bible reading right now. I'm, I'm trying to go through the whole Bible in one year. I've never actually done that. And I'm really enjoying it, and it's teaching me a lot. But, Trevor, you're hosting the Movie Guide Awards tonight. Did you ever think that you'd be hosting a Hollywood Awards show? No, I never thought I would be in Hollywood, period. So everything about this is pretty surreal. Um, really, really cool. I'm honored to be here, for sure. So you're a dancer and actor, and how is it um, important for you to stay in shape physically, spiritually, emotionally, and professionally? Well, staying in shape emotionally and mentally is first and foremost. Uh, and yeah, physically was, has been my entire life, so that would be happening regardless. But um, yeah, you talk about dance, that was physically the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. So um, everything after that is just gravy. You are on some great movies on uh, Great American Family. What does that mean to you to be able to share your faith and inspirational messages to the world? I love being able to make these movies that are morally uplifting, inspiring. Um, it just sets a good example for people watching. And, and it's cool to see my little niece watching along with my, my parents and grandparents. So yeah, I couldn't be happier. Is there anything you want to add tonight? Ah, oh, well, uh, I do have a movie coming out with uh, Dennis Quaid, who happens to be here and is playing in his band tonight as well. Uh, he plays Reagan in Reagan's biopic called Reagan. So looking forward to that coming out in theaters and then looking forward to getting back to work with uh, GAF. So you are in A Christmas Blessing. Talk to us about that. Uh, it's a, Oh, man, that was a lot of fun to do. Christmas movies are great. You know, you can they feel you feel like when you're doing them, it's even if it's summer, and you're, it's fake snow. You're still your heart feels warm. I, I really get into Christmas. Like I, me and my son, we play. We have like a Christmas hit list that we play from basically like December 5th all the way through to like January 2nd. 
and then it's gone. I take everything down. So you have a set. Yeah. So what does it mean to you as you start getting older to make uplifting content? That I'm not sure I'm getting older. Do you think? More mature. <laughs> oh, more mature. Okay, good. <laughs> as we're getting safe. older. Uh, as no. we're getting older. <laughs> No, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy making movies. So, uh, and uh, working with Laurie was unbelievable, fantastic. Such a talent. Uh, so, fun. How important is it to put uplifting content out there in the world? I, I, think, I think it's the most important thing right now. I think like there's more that unites us as uh, Americans and world citizens than there is that divides us. So I'm glad I'm, glad I'm, I'm, glad I'm on the hopeful side, glad I'm on the, on the good side. Yeah. Anything else you want to share with us tonight? A uh, special shout out to my son. He's watching at home. Atlas, love you. Okay, wow, you are amazing on The Chosen. What does this role mean to you? Thank you so much. The role for, for Divine Influencer that I was just, I was so honored to play because it was so opposite from the character that I play in The Chosen. But the imp most important thing is that it's, they're both just life changing. Um, when you watch it, you feel impacted. You feel that change of heart and it makes you look at yourself and at others. And like with The Divine Influencer, it's taught me to really be there for one another and to serve in person and not just focus on social media and the, the, the likes and the comments. Um, and I didn't even think I was going to be right for the role because I just didn't see myself in, in it. But God really handpicks who he wants the story, who he wants to tell the story. <laughs> They're kind of the opposite of the totally spectrum. <laughs> like when is set in today and then The Chosen is 2,000 years ago. Right. So are you having so much fun on The Chosen? You're doing such an amazing job. Thank you so much. It is so much fun. We are family on the show. Um, we're really, you, you feel something special on that project and on, on any project I do I feel like God has his hand in it and that's why I love what I do because it's meaningful, it's impactful. Not many actors can say they're changing lives and, and impacting others with a story with storytelling and that's really special to me. Dallas Jenkins hope is to get the chosen to a billion people. Yes. Oh, to reach people for Christ like that. That is so amazing. How does it feel? It feels absolutely just breathtaking really because I have no words because God does the impossible math. All we can do is put out our best work, use our vessel and use God to tell stories to so whatever it is you do on set, makeup, wardrobe, hair, and everything comes together and God is just pushing it out there and getting it in front of whoever needs to see it and uh, it's, it's what the world really needs. Has your faith grown during your project? Absolutely. My faith, when I found my faith was when I found my passion for acting and I know that God placed that in my heart and it lied dormant until he was ready for me to feel it and see it when I started seeking him. So I cannot tell my story of how I got into acting without telling my story about God and finding him and how it all clicked for me and uh, to just full circle be here. And I told him that I would just share my story and my testimony when I got here and here I am. And I'm so thank you, God. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, Divine Influencer, it's uh, a movie about a woman who had everything that she thought she needed in life. And it was a fall from grace and she ends up learning the true meaning of influence by living and serving at a homeless shelter. So it's, um, it's a story about um, really connecting with other people and, and looking at how do we influence others in an age of social media and distance with screens and all of that, you know, so it's, uh, I think, a necessary movie for, for these times. Such a time as this, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what does it mean to you to be here at the Movie Guide Awards and your movie is nominated? Yeah, yeah, the movie's nominated. It's, um, it's amazing. I mean, this is, there's such an energy here with so many different creatives and, and quality storytellers here. It's, it's just an honor to be a part of it. Um, and to be a part of a movie that, that people have really enjoyed and, and uh, I hope have moved them, you know. And um, so it's great to be nominated, great to meet new people in this industry and connect with people that I know already. And so, yeah, a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Hi, Brandon. Hi. Uh, talk about your movie tonight. It's up for an award. How exciting. It is exciting, and it was a miracle it got made <laughs> for the budget we had. So, um, What's crazy about filmmaking is some of the unexpected things that come your way and 
all the blessings that God gave us from casting to the locations to um, the people he brought together is just, just amazing. The main thing to think about is the people that we run into every day that are in distress. To think about your friends, your family that are they're not in a good situation. How, how can you influence them? How can you um, be a friend to them? So your book that you wrote is up for an award tonight made from your movie. It's yeah. incredible. You're a best-selling New York Times author. Tell us about the movie. So A Thousand Tomorrows is about an angry bull rider and a sick barrel racer and the miracle that brings them both together and changes their lives forever. How important is it for you to be to tell stories that your books get made into movies and you could share your faith and inspiration to people around the world? Well, when God gives me a story, he gives it to me as a movie in my head. So then to be here and it's a full circle and to see the actual movie that was in my head now on the screen, there's nothing better than that. And just to know that the story is no longer just that small story that was between me and God, but now the whole world can see it. And A Thousand Tomorrows, uh, I got to write the script with my son, Tyler Russell. So we co-wrote all the scripts. And uh, you know, other talented people produced it. And obviously, we had talented actors that are up for awards tonight, Colin Ford and Rose Reed. And so we're super thrilled about that. But I, I just couldn't be happier with it. It turned out um, in a way that, honestly, people continue to write to us every day saying, this story changed my life. What does it mean to you to have something in your heart and in your head and write it into a book and then see it made into a television or a movie? It's really a dream come true. I mean, to see something that I was, I can remember sitting in a room in a quiet place and writing this story and crying. And I would have actual tears streaming down my face because it didn't feel like I was making it up. And now I can sit in a theater we got to do a press tour when the when the show was running in this last spring and we did some uh you know just some beautiful red carpet moments and i got to sit in a theater and watch it on the big screen and there is just nothing like that i, I mean i think the the most exciting thing is i really wanted to make my own so we made a movie someone like you we actually used our family used our savings and I was producing, executive producing, finding locations, um, ca you know, casting. We had a casting director. We had a very talented cast and crew that we hired. But that movie will be opening in theaters April 2nd nationwide and in Canada. It's called Someone Like You. Tell me about your character and how fun it was to play her. Yeah, absolutely. So I play Ali Daniels on the TV show A Thousand Tomorrows. She is a really tough barrel racer who has a lot of um, a lot of health issues that are trying to weigh her down but she manages to overcome those through love and through faith and I think it's such a beautiful story she was such a dream come true to play because I grew up barrel racing so that's kind of my thing and when I had the opportunity to portray her I I really thought it was just such a such a god thing because that that kind of character doesn't come around very often but I think she's very inspiring she really is talk about your faith and being able to share it in a film yeah, I think that's really special. You know, in in Hollywood, it's it's kind of tricky to share your faith, and it's kind of tricky to, to talk about that. So I really appreciate Great American Pure Flix and, and places like the Movie Guide Awards that allow you to come and speak about your faith and be very open about it and be respected for it. So it was it was really a it was really an exciting project, and everyone who was on it had this had this incredible work ethic, incredible faith that was just so inspiring. And you know, Colin was such a dream to work with, and and everybody on board. So it it really manifested itself in a very powerful way. Tell us about your movie and the rodeo environment. How fun was that for you? Oh my you? gosh, it was incredible. You know, as an actor, the coolest thing is getting to step into new roles and new environments. And I had been to a couple of rodeos before, but uh, only as a spectator. And to kind of step into it as, as uh, someone who's jumping on the back of a bull was a whole other experience. So it was really awesome to get to go through the training process and the filming process. And you know, I'm don't, I don't think I'm as ballsy of a guy to, to really jump on a, on a bull in my own life, but now I can say I have enough experience and maybe that I've done it a little bit, so. So what does it mean to you to be here at the Movie Guide Awards that we're all about faith and family and reaching people for God? Oh my gosh, well to be here is incredible. So many lovely other artists and actors and filmmakers here and to, to kind of celebrate uh, you know, faith and, and kind of um, to get to do a project that uh, I feel like spreads God's message a little bit further is truly a blessing. And so, so to have this as a celebration of that is incredible. 
I play the Carl Joseph, who is a very kind-hearted person in this film. How fun was that for you to do? It was fun working the best actors on here with Colin and Rose, and it was a lot of fun working with them. What was your favorite part? My favorite part, having connections with Colin and I and Rose. Like we, we get very really close on set and kind of have a good time. And also, my birthday was on that day too. We celebrated my, celebrated my birthday as well. Cassidy, can you tell us about your film? Oh, I would love to. Um, well, A Thousand Tomorrows, which is a series uh, by, by the novelist Karen Kingsbury. It's a beautiful story about rodeo and, and romance and God. You know, Colin Ford and, and Rose Reed, who are our leads, did a wonderful job bringing the story together. And I mean, that, that Karen can put together all these beautiful characters into this wonderful series has been an absolute pleasure to work with. And I just feel so lucky and blessed and blessed to be a part of the team more than anything, mahalo keakua, which means, and I'm Hawaiian, it just means I'm blessed by God. On March 7th, get ready for a night of celebration. Ted, thank you so much again for another amazing award season. God is good, thank you. The Movie Guide Awards, March 7th at 8 p.m. on Great American Family. That's a wrap from the red carpet. Don't forget to subscribe and go to movieguide.org. If you enjoy videos that follow your values like ours and you want to help us continue, uh, go to movieguide.org slash donate because we're actually a nonprofit. You may not know that, but we're working in Hollywood every day to help families have more choices that follows their values. And also subscribe right now.